Hi everyone, it's Timmy with Ivy Corrine Bath and Body. Um, I'm here today to cut some of our soap that we did over the weekend. Uh, we're going to start with the pumpkin. That's the top of it. Stayed a nice orange. And as you can see, it darkened quite a bit um, where the fragrance oil was added. We didn't add any fragrance to the top there. actually kind of remember last year this not being my favorite fragrance, but I don't know if it's growing on me or what, but I like it this year a lot more than I did last year. Maybe they changed the formula a little bit since last year. Now you'll see here, this is, woo, this is actually, I always forget to catch those. This is the end of the soap, and this is what the inside looks like right now. Um, but it will get as dark as the outside. It's just, but it's now, right now, it's like the perfect pumpkin color. I wish it would have stayed that color, but it doesn't. It turns that dark because of all the vanilla and the fragrance. So, that's it. There's not much to see on these. They're pretty basic. Um... Like I said, it will darken, but that's that's the soap. Hope you can see that. Let's see if I can get a yeah, okay. So, but we just did. That's where we put the divots in, um, and we got so we got the little ripple effect on the top. So, nothing too fancy, but just kind of cute. I actually really love how the tops came out. I'm going to clean up this edge right here. Um, but other than that, that's about all that's going to happen with this one. I haven't done a raised top in a while. I've been doing them flat. Because I usually do so many colors, it's really not necessary to do um, a bunch of colors or to do height on there because it's so colorful but when they're plain like this the tops being textured really does look nice and just a little hint for those out there sometimes this one isn't bad but sometimes when I cut the soaps um, I'll get after a couple seconds you'll get little like raised bumps in there. I I never have that problem if I use a knife to cut them, but the wire, for whatever reason, makes them pop out. There are a little there. I don't know if you can see them. But, um, the, they get these little raised white bumps. And if you just smooth over them with your finger like that, they go right back into the soap and they're gone. They don't pop back out. At least mine don't. Um, but that's a little tip for you if you have that problem. I really like the way that turned out. It's very pretty. And I'm really happy to see there's really not too many <laughs> air bubbles in these. There's a couple on the sides. Um, this one isn't bad. Let me see one with one on the side. There's a couple small ones on the sides of the soap. But it wasn't too bad. This one don't have it either. Like I said, just a couple. Like see here, we've got a couple little air bubbles. But this stuff went so thick on me so fast. Um, when they're beer soaps, they tend to go faster anyway. And then a beer soap with... This fragrance doesn't move too awful fast, but the beer itself makes it move really fast. So combining the two, it just made for a really, really thick batter. That I was very nervous I'd get a ton of air pockets, but it doesn't seem too bad. Man, I really wish it would stay that color in the middle. That's so pretty. I like that. The chocolatey brown will be nice, too, up against the orange there. That'll be nice. I like that one with the big dip in it.
Man, that one smells so good. I made it stronger this year. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. Last year when I made it, I think it was just I was sick of smelling pumpkin <laughs> in my house. Um, but I really like it this year. This one, it actually has a very buttery uh, notes to it because it's more of like a cake smell. So it's like a pumpkin cake type of thing. Um, and it's got like buttery notes in it. It's got pumpkin, but the pumpkin's more on the back note. You get a lot of um, the buttery notes and some spices and then the pumpkins in there too that that kind of sweetens the whole thing up. So if you're not a huge fan of pumpkin you may like this one just because it doesn't have a lot of the pumpkin. This is more like a pumpkin cake. So like um, maybe like a spice cake. And see here you can see the it got a few air bubbles in the side. Um, but they're really not too noticeable once they get cut. That, I think that's the worst of them, was that one. Clean my wires real fast. I love making beer soaps because I can cut them so early. I usually tend to wait about 48 hours on the other ones I'm going to cut today. Um, they were made 48 hours ago, a little over that. So, um those I will cut and that seems to cut down on the amount of little speckles I get through them, the little white bumps so that's why I wait but with the beer soaps if I wait that long sometimes I can't cut them at all because they do get hard really fast so the end. These will be sample pieces that I can send out. And we'll cut this one down for samples too. Yeah, I really like that. It kind of looks like a pumpkin soap with a pillowy top on it. It's quite nice. I like it a lot. I may end up doing more um, textured tops with my Christmas soaps because like a lot of them, like I know I'm going to do a frankincense and myrrh. And I came up with something a little different this year for it. Because I didn't want it to just be the plain, like, off-white soap with the gold. Um, that's what we did last year. And it looked pretty, but I just, I don't know, I'm very into color right now. So, uh, I have an idea for that one that I'm going to try. So that one might not be too bad. But there's a couple of them. I don't, like, so many of them, like, I, I'm doing gingerbread. And that one goes this dark brown like that. So I'd like to, if I can, come up with something. Maybe I'll peek the tops like that on that. I don't know. I got an idea for that one too. I might change it up. But if they're kind of plain, I like the textured top with a little bit of color on there. It really spruces up the whole bar. Just gives it some interest. Wow, this came out so smooth. It's so nice. I was going to add some... Uh, steric in there to kind of whiten up the the part that would be darker but I decided against it because every time I use steric in a beer soap never fails I get the steric uh, lines through it because or not steric wow I am so off my rocker titanium dioxide um, I was gonna add that to the soap but I decided against it because I always it, it just it overheats my soap in the beer ones um, because the way I normally wrap my soaps is I insulate them like crazy and with this it basically gets a piece of cardboard in a towel because I don't want to I don't want to overheat so there we go that's the pumpkin soap not sure on the name yet It'd be pumpkin something not just pumpkin soap but um, that's our new one for this year I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed the making of video and I'll be back in a few minutes with our next soap thanks for watching Bye.